Hey everyone, Mikey Sol here with Prehistoric Magazine. Apologies for the audio quality, it's not the greatest, I don't have my microphone with me, but I wanted to get this video out there nonetheless. A pretty interesting article has come out regarding T-Rex and the possibility that it could have potentially been 70% larger than the biggest T-Rex we know. Now, on face value, that's kind of an interesting article. Um, I do understand a lot about clickbait that, you know, it's possible the people behind the study and the website's possible that they just want some clickbait. Definitely got me clicking, but it's an interesting article nonetheless that, you know, the largest known T-Rex that we know of, Scotty, weighed about 20,000 pounds in life. And this article is entertaining the idea, or sorry, rather this study is entertaining the idea that T-Rex could have potentially been 70% larger than we know of. Now, Again, this is interesting. It really puts an emphasis on how big could an animal like that get? You know, if it indeed was 70% bigger, what would the mobility be like? What would the stress on the bones and the joints be uh, to be that big and be moving about in a manner that we would think T-Rex would be moving about? It would be an enormous strain on bones, ligaments, and joints. 70% um, larger than the biggest T-Rex would, would put... T-Rex at the size of, you know, a, a medium-sized sauropod. That, that would be an enormous animal. And, and again, it's really quite fascinating to think about this. I like to think about it from the standpoint of, I've thought about this for a long time, that, you know, a lot of dinosaurs, we only have so many specimens, and it's difficult to calculate how big they could have become in life from such a small specimen. I remember reading several decades ago the idea that if, humans were dug up in the future and you only had a handful of them and one of them was the size of Tom Cruise and you dug it up, it's possible that you may believe the human species was only the size of Tom Cruise, about 5'6 or 5'7. But obviously we know there are people out there like Shaquille O'Neal, 7'1", 300 and something pounds, so we know that there's a great variety. Same may have been true for dinosaurs. Obviously, you know, there are species that we have found numerous individuals and you can probably come up with a general idea for what they may have been like, or, you know, the size, T-Rex being one of those that, you know, we think it's around 40 feet in length and eight to 10 tons in weight and maybe 12 or 13 feet tall, but who's to say what a truly ginormous one could have gotten like? Very difficult to say what an entire species could have become. Obviously, there's forms of gigantism in any animal species, from crocodiles to sharks to humans. So it's a really interesting study. It's in the comment section below if you want to read it. I'll be curious to see what comes out more from this. Again, this article is proposing the idea that T-Rex may have been 70% larger than we have initially thought. Let us know your thoughts on this in the comments section below. And if you like content like this, love to have you subscribe. And also would love to have you subscribe to my publication, Prehistoric Magazine, which goes out to subscribers three times per year. It's completely free. I'll also link that in the comments section below. Thanks again for your support. And let us know your comments on this. Take care.